welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to show you how to make a maths portfolio. Considering my school gave me a task to do, you know, a maths portfolio. So I thought why not share the process with you guys, you know. Make a maths portfolio. For beginners it's very difficult. So what are we waiting for? Let's begin. So guys, here is the maths portfolio. Check it out. Um, we decorated it with some pictures. Look, samosa day. It's a triangle. It looks like a samosa, you know. I wrote here Max portfolio. Now let's check out the first page. Here is the acknowledgement. As I was saying, here is the acknowledgement. Check it out. I'm not going to read it due to it being a very long. So I'm just going to put up a screenshot here. You guys can read it yourself. You see, yeah, yeah, acknowledgement, first page. So you can also draw stuff like this. You can draw whatever you want. Nice pictures here, just like this. Add a border so it looks nice and, you know, do good handwriting. Draw like this, okay? Yeah, that's all I have to show. Now, let's go to the next page. So, this is the introduction. So, let's see what it is. It has name, class, roll number, section, subject, topic, and your teacher's name. I have not written out anything here. You know, not my name, anything like that. You guys have to fill it up. Let's copy this and fill it up. Also, don't forget these borders, draw them neatly and well, so it makes the project look better, you know, a lot better. Yeah. Anyways, next page. The index. Yes, this is my favorite part. So, this is the index. As you can see, I've neatly decorated the border. Well, it's not decorating, it's drawing. And here are the points that we have. So first of all, we have triangle, point one triangle, two median of triangle, three altitude of triangle, four exterior angle property, five angle sum property. Now six has three parts. Classification of triangle. First part is A, equilateral triangle. B, iso isosceles triangle. C, right angled triangle there you go so that was the index so i hope you understand and next page let's move to the next page so there is this is the triangle and its parts okay so first part is a triangle let's open it up triangle is a closed figure having three line segments three vertices and three angles Example, angle, triangle ABC. What is triangle ABC? There. Triangle A, B, and C. These are the three angles. Next up is line segment. A to B. This is the line segment. Line segment is the path between two points that can be measured. For example, you know this. A, B, this is a line segment because it can be measured and it's a path. So, this is the vertex. Let's open it up. A point where two lines meet to form an angle is called a vertex. See here, this is I think this is also a vertex. This is a vertex and this is also a vertex. Okay. Next up, we have angles. Let's open it up again. The figure formed by two rays meeting at a common end point is called an angle. See, this, this is an angle, this is an angle and this is also an angle. And see, B, C, A, C, this, this is also an angle. So let's move on to the next page. Median of triangle. Median of triangle. This is the median. It is the line joining the vertex to the midpoint of the opposite side of a triangle. See, this is the median. See, A and S. These are the. This is the median. 
Next up we have the altitude of a triangle. What is altitude? An altitude of a triangle is the perpen perpendicular line drawn from the vertex of the triangle to the opposite side. See, this is the altitude. Okay. Here this is the altitude, okay? I hope you understand. Now, let's move on to the next page. Exterior angle property. So, we have here. So, an exterior angle of a triangle is equal to the sum of its opposite interior. For vortices, the interior angle is a angle ACB equals C and and the exterior angle is angle ACD equals D. Angle, angle ACD equals angle CAB plus angle CBA. Okay. Next up we have angle sum property. Angle sum property of triangle states that the sum of interior angles of a triangle is 180 degree. It always has to be 180 degree. So this is the proof guys proof okay angle a plus angle b plus angle c equals 180 degree how sum of length of any two sides of a triangle is greater than the third side ab plus bc is greater than ac ac plus bc is greater than ab ab plus ac is greater than bc So let's move on to the next page. Well, this is actually, the, I think, this is the final page. So, classification of triangle. Number one, equilateral triangle. So the requirements are all sides are equal, and all the side, all the angles are equal to sixty degrees. See, all sides are equal, and all the sides are all the angles actually are 60 degrees, equal to 60 degrees. Next is iso, iso, isosceles triangle. Two sides are equal. Angles opposite to equal sides are equal. See? See? Understand? Yeah. Number three. Right angle triangle. Well, what are the requirements for that? One of the angles is 90 degrees. One of these has to be 90 degrees. See, this is 90 degrees. This angle is 90 degrees. Okay, it looks like an L shift. Okay, that means it's 90 degrees. Pythagoras theorem can be applied. Okay, so since my project is now completed and everything is done, every guys, it's all done. Let me just put it all back together, you know, nicely and neatly. See guys, that wasn't too hard, was it? See, we did it and we did this well and yeah, now that this is ended. So guys, if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give this video, you know, a good thumbs up, okay? Thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel as well. If you subscribe to us, then you'll be notified whenever, whenever we upload a new video. Plus